Welcome to Pets Check-In. Thanks for joining us. You will be able to start providing security for your pets in just a few easy steps. Read the welcome page, then click Next. This will take you to My Home. Here, you'll see things that need your attention under Alerts and a printable instruction sheet of how to best use the site. Throughout the site, we put question marks by things we thought could use some clarification. Just click on them to get more info. Now, start at My Preferences and set the window of time you'll allow for your pet care provider to check in. If your animals need care at a very specific time, you'll want to set it to perhaps 20 minutes. That means your pet sitter will have a 40-minute cushion in which to check in. If your pet needs care at 5 p.m., your pet sitter can come and check in between 4.40 and 5.20. If they don't check in by 5.20, then we implement your backup plan, calling your PetsNet members. If you don't care when the sitter comes, you just want to know they did come once a day, then set the window to 4 hours. Next, decide if you want to have your pet sitter check in from your home phone or just any phone. If you allow check-in from any number, be sure to enter a code and confirm your pet sitter knows both the code and your check-in phone number. Now, you'll want to set up your pet sitters and backup folks under the tab My Pets Care. Add your first pet care provider by clicking Add My Pets Attendant. You must add at least one. Enter their name and the best way to reach them. Then add their email. Simply click Edit, then Add Another Contact Method. You can prioritize contact methods by drag and drop. And if your pet care person constantly uses email, it can be their primary contact method. We recommend you next build your backup plan, My Pets Net. The process is the same as adding a pet sitter. Okay, let's look at setting your schedule. Scheduling events is like scheduling things on any electronic calendar such as Outlook or Google. Here's a quick overview of how you do it. To navigate month to month, click the arrows. You can view calendar by month, week, or day. You can add events using any of these views. Now, double-click on the first date you'll need pet care. Name the event something short but specifically related to the chore, such as feed horses dinner or walk the dogs. Set the check-in time. Now you can decide if you want your pet sitter to check in and check out or only check in. Remember, you can always request check out by setting it in My Preferences and it'll be selected for you. Notice all your preferences are showing just above the calendar for easy reference. On the calendar, you can also select a reminder call for your pet sitter to ensure they remember to care for your animals. If you are going to be gone for a number of days or regularly have a dog walker or animal trainer coming in, click in the Repeating Event box and set up the reoccurrence schedule. Now click Save and you are done. When the event is completed, your pet sitter checked in, you can move your mouse over the event and see the time your animals were cared for. Clicking on the event will give you details about it. Notice a schedule mistake? To delete an event, mouse over the event, then click the red box in the right-hand corner. You are now done with all the required stuff, but you really should do one last step. When you have a little time, add your pet's information. One of the greatest safety steps you can take is to fill out the ePets ID. Click Add, Edit ePets ID, and answer the questions. <coughs> Pet sitters and Pets Net members will find the info useful. Click Save when you are done, then you can print or email the PDF and distribute it to your pet sitter, dog walker, and My Pets Net. We hope you enjoy using this site and that it helps your pets be safe and happy and helps you to have peace of mind when you must be away from them.